hi everybody welcome to coffee talk live um coming at you uh this monday and um you know welcome to the time change how's everybody doing yeah that's <laughs> a it's, it's always a rough monday the monday after time change at least the fall one slightly easier but still hard on everybody's body clocks and i know my dog was up an hour earlier being like, it's time to eat, uh, you know? And sh she's like, yeah, I don't care that it's only seven o'clock. It's it, it's really eight o'clock in my mind. And that, that means it's breakfast time. So she was uh, bothering us. She like does this cute little like nuzzling us thing uh, when it's time to eat or whatever, you know, it doesn't matter what we're doing. I could be on the computer or whatever. She comes up and just is like, give me my food. It's time, you know, so. Uh, well, at least it's cute. <laughs> it is, it is, yeah, it was, you know, I, I try to hold it in that it's cute and then, and not annoying. It can, it can make you feel that way too. So, yeah. Absolutely. So, you know, um, we've had a couple of events happen and I think that there's something really special that you wanted to share about something that happened at our golf event. Um, I'd love to hear about that, Brian. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so we've been really fortunate uh, the last few years with um, a partner uh, group that works with um, us, you know, Pete Barbonas, our board vice president, has a great relationship with uh, an auto body shop called Mike's Auto Body. Uh, and they're a part of this wonderful benevolence program that they've done for years. I think they're over 20 years they've been doing it. Uh, and uh, they've been pushing to get um, a hundred cars given away. So they basically take a car that was, you know, kind of a uh, you know, beat up and whatnot, and they completely refinish it, make it completely like good as new, uh, you know, rebuild the inside, outside, everything uh, and whatnot. And they give them away to uh, nonprofits and community members in need. And, and we've been fortunate to partner with them for the last few years uh, and, and had cars given away to our community members. So at the golf tournament, um, we had two of our community members receive a car, uh, you know, and whatnot. And it was just really exciting and special um, to have that. And we're really honored to be a part of the Mike's Auto Body Benevolence Program. And, um, you know, each community member that receives the car also gets um, their insurance paid for for the first year. Um, they get gifts in the trunk for the whole family. Uh, you know, it's just a, a wonderful life changing thing. Um, you know, I know some of our previous recipients in past years, um, not only have they said how much they use the car, they're showing up at family ed day and being like, hey, I drove here in the car, you know. Uh, you know, I, I got to go to family camp because I have transportation now, as well as obviously just their normal life, getting the kids to school, going to their doctor's appointments, all those things. They have reliable, safe transportation um, and whatnot, and it just makes a world of difference. So, uh, yeah, just special to hear. Um, but, yeah, and also those folks like to give back. You know, Pete always mentions that, too. Uh, you know, we had one of our families that received a car in the past become our best volunteers for Camp Emotion. And that's like the biggest volunteer ask in the world is, will you be our adults on the bus as all these kids who are scared a little bit and nervous going to camp, uh, you know, or maybe very enthusiastic and excited and gonna be on the bus ride for hours and kind of have to rein in that excitement a little bit until they get to camp. Uh, and, you know, but also check all the boxes, medications, you know, everything's all organized and logistically taken care of. So it's a big ask. And, and one of our, our community members that received a car, uh, one of our first uh, families to receive a car, uh, they did that. Uh, the, the adults, you know, were our bus volunteers and just so gave back to us as a foundation to their other community members, their peers in a big way by volunteering. So uh, it's a special you know, paying it forward feel uh, through the whole process and whatnot. So uh, just, I, I love that that happens. It always happens around the holidays. Uh, for us, we got to do it at our golf tournament, but usually they give them away in December uh, and whatnot. So we got to get ours a little bit early uh, and then they'll be giving away the, the cars to other nonprofits in the area um, in early December is when they usually have their special day. Uh, but yeah, so I wanted to mention that, uh, look out for our next edition of the newsletter. We'll have kind of the full article uh, and whatnot coming out there all about that day with pictures uh, and everything out there. So, uh, and we'll, we'll post it on Facebook, the article, um, once it's all done and, and clean and looking good too. So uh, yeah, just big thank you again to Mike's Auto Body, to Pete Barbonis and everyone involved uh, and whatnot in that program. That's such a great program. You know, um, not that this is as big, but we do have some in-person things coming up uh, locally. So if you're in the San Jose area, and you think you might enjoy coming out with other community members and um, meeting at Maggiano's on Santana Row, which is a favorite old haunt of many events that we've had throughout the years. Brian, did you ever make it out there to Maggiano's on Santana Row for an event? 
Yeah, yeah. So I grew up in that area. Um, for those familiar, I kind of grew up about a mile closer to downtown, but like, um, you know, about a mile's bike ride, you know, to uh, Valley Fair was what it used to be uh, called back then before Westfield bought it and whatnot. Uh, and then that used to be like an old town and country thing. And they had a playland there that I used to go to as a kid and a Hobie's, you know, breakfast, like brunch spot, uh, whatnot. But yeah, now it's, uh, now it's the big fancy Santana row. And so I went to that Maggiano's uh, a few times for sure when it first opened. Uh, and whatnot. Yeah, it's, I mean, lovely. I mean, Santana Rose, beautiful, and Maggiano's family style, Italian, you know, uh, eating. It's it's awesome. Uh, you know, get your carb on, you know, and uh, have a great time, uh, great you know, time. and yeah, and, and spend some time with other community members, uh, for sure. Yeah, so you're, you're absolutely right. They serve us family style, but the really neat thing is, and I don't know if you were able to uh, experience this, they have these big, huge rooms in the back, and mm -hmm. so they just, um, they spread us out and you, you sit at a table and you've got all the food at your table and you just share it with the other people there. And we will be observing the CDC guidelines. We'll have masks and sanitizer. And we'll also have lots of giveaways and we're gonna be playing uh, bilingual Loteria. So that's gonna be really fun. That's on the 18th, it's Thursday, it's at six o'clock. Just register at uh, hemofoundation.org slash events. Um, yeah, and then let's see, Brian, you've got something. I have a couple other events that I want to talk about, but I think you want to talk about some other stuff first, maybe. Sure. Yeah, what, whichever works. Um, yeah, so, you know, obviously, like Ashley's saying, we got upcoming in person things there, um, but we'll, we'll also have some uh, just things going on uh, online, uh, you know, throughout the, the holidays here. So, you know, the couple of things that come to mind are, our Giving Tuesday, uh, which is coming up. So for those that are like Giving Tuesday, what's that? Uh, you know, Thanksgiving is Thursday. Uh, it's the fourth Thursday of November every year. That day after everyone, you know, Black Friday, everyone's out there uh, shopping and doing their thing. Uh, then it's Small Business Saturday. So go out and support your local uh, folks uh, and whatnot out there on, on that Saturday. Um, I always love, you know, supporting you know, the local businesses that I know in my area on those days. Then it's Cyber Monday that got invented, uh, you know, as we moved our shopping online. So you'll get all sorts of fun deals on Cyber Monday. And then last but not least is Giving Tuesday. So that's kind of the day for nonprofits, for charitable giving. Uh, it's towards the end of the year. Um, sometimes it's in November. Sometimes it's that first, you know, or second of December or whatnot. Uh, I believe this year, it's is it December 1st or November 30th? It's right in there somewhere. November 30th. November 30th. Thank you, Ashley. So uh, Giving Tuesday will be November 30th. Um, we'll have some campaigns and stuff built around, you know, uh, Facebook fundraising uh, and whatnot. That was, you know, has been a big success for us for our walk teams year after year, uh, you know, but, you know, getting more involved with that. Um, but just in general, keep us in mind when it comes to Giving Tuesday as you support your causes uh, at the end of the year uh, and whatnot. So and then obviously for those that are shopping, uh, if you're doing Amazon, Amazon has this really cool, doesn't change anything in your experience. If you shop at Amazon Smile, it's your same Amazon account, nothing changes. You just type in smile.amazon.com instead of Amazon uh, and whatnot. And then you get to support a charity through your uh, shopping. So Amazon will take 0.5% of your entire purchases and whatnot and give that to the charity of your choice. Several people have already chosen HFNC as their charity, um, and we get a check quarterly uh, uh, from Amazon, which is wonderful. So at no more cost to you, no more difficulty, same prime, everything to you, uh, Amazon will donate 0.5% of all your purchases. So uh, as you're doing your shopping or you know any shopping you're ever doing on Amazon, we recommend everyone to go to smile.amazon uh, and choose HFNC as your charity. Uh, and and we'll get um, you know those quarterly contributions. So thanks to everyone who's already doing that. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, that's wonderful to think of us while you're doing your online shopping. Uh, and for those that haven't, it's easy. If you and if you have trouble doing that, feel free to give us a call. I'm happy to walk anyone through uh, how to do that. It's it's pretty straightforward, but I know uh, it can be a little bit messy out there on the interwebs. So happy to help anyone through it. That's so great, Brian. Thank you for mentioning that. I you know. I think it's just super important for us to talk about um, thanking the people that have already donated and volunteered oh, yeah. and fundraised. And so I just wanted to take a second to say thank you everybody for um, keeping us afloat uh, in 2021 and um, and hanging in there with us. Um, but you know, I love that you brought up the holidays because a way of our giving back is that we provide education to our community 
And one of the ways that we do that is these in-person events that we have. So um, looking toward um, the holidays, towards December 2nd, we've got uh, a all Spanish event in Monterey at our one of our other favorite haunts, Tarpey's Roadhouse. And so you can uh, register for that. That's gonna start at six o'clock. Um, we've already got families registered for both of those events. And then um, the other holiday thing that we're doing is our winter cheer event where we're gonna be decorating gingerbread houses. And one of our community members is gonna be leading that activity. So that's gonna be really fun. And I just hope that everybody um, gets an opportunity to register. You'll get a gingerbread house kit sent to you that you can decorate if you live in our area. Um, we still have room for people to register for that. So um, just some of the ways that HFNC is able to give back to the community um, we appreciate you guys and, and we miss you and we want to see you. So um, I know Brian's got one more way that we can make that happen that he wants to talk about. And then I think we're done. Well, what was my last thing? Asher, help me remember. What, it happens uh, if in I, March. Oh, oh, of course. Right. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I, I, the thing that's on the other side of the calendar flip. Uh, yeah. So uh, our, our registration is up for family camp. Uh, it's very exciting. We're going to be in March uh, this year. We had asked Taylor Family Foundation uh, if uh, there was a, a date that could be a little bit later in the year uh, for several reasons. Um, you know, whatnot. We, we were in March online this past year, and we kind of liked uh, not being so close to the holidays and the transition of the year. We were usually in that like second or third weekend of January, and we found that a little bit hard on uh, some families to, you know, uh, have just gotten off of the break, gone back to school, and then like to have a whole uh, weekend away. So we may try to, you know, keep this March weekend here if we can. Um, but uh, family camp's coming back. We're going to be in person. Uh, fingers crossed, in person, and uh, in the Camp Arroyo in Livermore, doing the thing uh, like normal, uh, with one slight change in that we won't be doing the full two nights uh, experience. We'll be doing just kind of the single day style event. Um, so it'll be a whole day of family camp uh, and whatnot. And that's just re ultimately to help us make sure that we can do the event, um, you know, with the overnight complications, you know, bringing different families from different counties, all these things uh, potentially together and whatnot. Uh, there was a little bit of fear that we may run into more stumbling blocks, uh, uh, you know, in terms of being able to do it at all. And we'd rather do it in the way that we kind of feel confident that we'll be able to get it done, which is a single day event. Uh, you know, so uh, you can go sign up for that. So we're going to still do the art projects and the songs and the, you know, camp activities for the kids and the parents are still going to get to meet with the HTC staff and do that, you know, peer sharing and asking questions. And it's still going to feel a lot like family camp. It's just going to be a little shorter uh, and whatnot. We'll still share meals together. We'll still have our family camp vibe. Uh, but we wanted to make sure that it could get done in person this year or give us the best chance for that. Uh, so we, we're moving it to March and we're going to do it for a single day. It's going to be March 12th and you can sign up already online. There's actually already a few people that have signed up. So that's really cool and exciting. Uh, and that's even before we've really even put it out there. So uh, some people are on it, uh, catching that on our website and signing up. So that's really cool uh, to see already. So um, looking forward to being with people uh, from our community uh, again. And if you're not familiar with Family Camp, it's it's mainly for our uh families with young children um, or anyone new uh, to the community. So, hey, uh, you just moved to the area or uh, recently got a diagnosis, um, you know, uh, regardless of your age, uh, you know, family camp is for you. Um, or if you have, like I said, uh, if you have a young children in your family, that uh, family camp is, is for you as well. So uh, we, we'd love to see you out there. And, you know, really we have families uh, that are outside those boxes come, um, but we just give priority to those families too. So anyone really is welcome to sign up and potentially attend. It's just when we do have limited space, especially when we're sleeping in a certain number of cabins and whatnot, we give priority to those newly diagnosed families and to those families with young children. Uh, you know, kind of we start there and make sure that we have spots for them. But yeah, so looking forward to the single day family camp experience at Camp Arroyo, March 12th. Go sign up, hemofoundation.org slash events. And uh, we'll, we'll see you there. And if you have questions about how we're gonna try to handle all the COVID procedures and whatnot and how that's all gonna work, uh, feel free to reach out. We're working with what their guidelines are. Currently, they do have like a mask mandate and all this kind of stuff for their uh, site. 
and whatnot because it's run by the like uh, part the county parks department out there. So uh, we will be following the East Bay Regional Parks uh, guidelines and obviously CDC and all those kind of things. Whatever they need of us to be able to allow us to be there, that's what we will do. Uh, and you know, so we will we'll kind of go from there. But if you have any questions about how that's all going to work and operate, you know, uh, feel free to reach out. But uh, yeah, March twelfth, we'll, we'll be out there. All right, everybody. Nice chatting with you. See you, Brian. Take care, everyone.